Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. Today I want to show you the branded Blackwing FTK version, version that you guys been asking for. First of all, what I, what I need to say about this deck is this is not the best Blackwing deck you've ever going to see, okay? But it is still highly competitive. The only issue with this deck is that we are literally playing three bricks that you kind of need to hard draw. Like one of those dualities that you need to draw. But going second, that can also break. But at the same time, like sometimes having that card in your hand, like is still going to give you an automatic win against decks that just have the nuts. For example, some decks they have like tactics, lightning storm, dark or whatever the fuck they have, and you cannot play through all of that, even if you have the best board ever, right? But with this combo right here, you don't have to worry about anything that your opponent has. Just boom, 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 FTK. And troll your opponent. The, the cool thing about this is that your opponent cannot even see this coming, right? Because you're not showing any combo lines that showcase like, okay, we are going to be this kind of Blackwing deck or not. He has no clue what's coming. Okay, and that's the cool thing about this deck. All right, before we start, however, Sleeve Chief is dropping right now limited secret rare sleeves of the beautiful... Uh, God damn it, I forgot this card's name. But you guys, everyone knows this card. Okay, I know the German word. Uh, Elegante Voltetaren. Elegante Voltetaren is in this bitch. Um, make sure to check this out because they are limited. Okay, so if you're interested, you should get them right now. Because otherwise, you're going to regret it. Because they be going to... You guys know, Sleeve Chief's stuff is always sold out. Okay, so make sure to get it right now with the code Kenek5. Besides that, this new cool uh, cloth playmat also coming. Like look look at look at those like details bro look at the details this this mat is insane with the exodia right here and we got here the pot of prosperity and then with the aufgegeben opfer you can i don't know the german word but yeah uh, the english word but yeah <laughs> really cool mat and the other limited mat that we have is the hell and hell play mat also really cool insane details like really cool Looks like really cool Halloween Halloween edition. But yeah, I'm definitely getting those playmats. Uh, so yeah, make sure to get yours because those are going to be limited, man. And you, you're going to regret it, man. You're going to regret it. Let's check out the deck, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So this is what I said. Like, you need to hard draw the duality. Going second right now, this hand, for example, would suck, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is not the most competitive deck. Sometimes you can actually break boards of only engine, but... You rather see hand traps, right? However, here, let me show you some ways. If you want to see the one card Simoon way how to do this with duality, then check out the previous video. But yeah, let me show you how you can do it right now, for example, in this video. So here, we're getting impumped, which is fine because we already have Vata and Shaman in our hand, right? We don't care. But literally, we're playing through hand traps, which is. I guess now we got the black feather woman here. We got Vata. We're gonna activate Vata's effect. Even if Vata right here gets Ash, bro, we're still doing the combo like because here, boom, boom, boom. You can pause the video if it's too quick for you. Uh, you want to go into nothing because you're gonna need to have like the only things that you need is literally nothing and Beelze. Those are the only two cards plus the Blackwing Assault Dragon. But the Assault Dragon is basically a free monster that you're always going to summon at the end of your turn. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do here. Chain 1, Chain 2, Shamal. Get Zuji back to our hand. And then we can normally summon the boy. And the cool thing is like our opponent has no idea what's coming. He doesn't know that we have duality on our hand. All he's thinking right now is uh, just another Blackwing player. We're just we not just another Blackwing player. Now we can use Zuju's effect to tribute to the Nofong. We do not need him anymore. And now we can go here into Boreal Storm. With Boreal Storm, we can send Shanga to the graveyard to have that quick effect pop life. Now we're going to summon our boy Dispatter. Zephyr's effect bounce back to Black Feather Weapons. Boom, boom, boom. Right, just like that. I just realized, by the way, that now nah, we're good. Okay, here. This is what I'm saying. We're gonna need Bielce and we're gonna need the Assault Dragon. Now, if Black Feather won't, I like to summon here Boreal Stone. Why? Because uh, otherwise, Shanga in the graveyard won't be life. That's why I summoned another Black Monster Synchro Monster. 
Now here in the draw phase, bro. Hmm. Duality. Tribute as a cost. I think it's a cost, right? Yeah, tribute as a cost. And then... Boom. Summon the Sanctifier. Now our opponent is like, hold up. What the fuck is going on here? He cannot use Imperm. Only thing that he can do right now is maybe using his Bestial or whatever. But, yeah. Now we're going to summon Beardse to his side and Northrum to our side. And this is where the fun begins. Because Northrum is going to trigger to burn our opponent. By the way, we can use Shamal's effect here to get our mods negate to our hand. Which is also really nice. Boom. And now we're going to burn our opponent for 800. And now Beardse triggers. Because Beardse says, like, if you take damage, boom, trigger effect. And because Beardse's effect triggers... The soul drain triggers. It doesn't really trigger, but yeah, it just act. It doesn't also activate because it's not an activate effect. But he burns the 700, and every time he burns, BTC activates, and then you're gonna get burnt again. Now look at this shit. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Okay, that's basically it. That's what I'm saying. But hey, if you cannot set up. Like, if you do not hard draw the duality, don't worry. We can also run a completely different strong board with this deck. So you don't really have to rely on that. Let me show you, showcase the other board. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize I was recording. But yeah, let's say, for example, we do not hard draw the duality, which is fine. Yeah, with one Simon alone, we got this full combo stuff here. Um... In this case, we got uh, our boy the new Banish, which is not a problem because we can just get that also back. And we're going to use Seal Black Whirlwinds. Search for Zudri, right? Our normal some Zudri Chain 1, Zu uh, Chain 1, Zudri Chain 2, Black Whirlwinds. Uh, and with Zudri, we, we want to add Shamal. And with the Whirlwind, we, we want to add Vata. Uh, we're going to activate Shamal's effect. Boom, special summon that boy. Now we can use Vata's effect to send Zephyros. And a level 2. Usually want to send Chinook to the graveyard, but right now it's banished. Oh, you guys cannot even see it. Hold up. My bad. So yeah, Chinook is banished right now. Um, That's why we have to play it this way, that we activate the Black Feather Weapons. And special summon Chinook. Because you definitely want to have Chinook on your hand. Now, what I like to do is use Zephyr's effect, uh, Zuji's effect to tribute the Chinook. So, basically, the token is now Vata. And then you can use Vata or the token to go into Borea Storm. And I, what I like to do is to chain block here with Borea Storm and then chain two Shamal to get your boy uh, Chin uh, Chinook to your hand, right? And with Borea Storm. The only card that you want to send is Sangha. Now, what you want to do is go into this pattern. Like this. Activate this powder's effect. Summon Jamal the Baller. And now go here into full armor monster. And if you once you successfully summon full armor master, I like to activate Zephyr's effect. Bounce back to Black Feather Weapons. Boom again. Now we can summon these two. I would suggest to maybe summon them in death. Otherwise, Lightning Storm can be a pain in your ass. But yeah, just like that, basically. Don't make this formation right here that I did. Don't do this dick looking like formation. Put them all in death. That's smarter. But that's basically all you need because uh, you got Chinook on your hand, which is like an Valor Imperm. Then you got Ganga in the graveyard, which is like a Ghost Ogre, which is insane. And then you got this pattern, 
and those three interruptions are actually already enough uh and the good thing is though that you do not have to run into tactics or frost or whatsoever because no one is going to be able to play through two assault dragons so you can just sit on those two and don't care about frost tactics whatever because just let them burn him to death and yeah because people cannot like outplay two assault dragons with full armor master on the field so basically you got a couple of winning conditions right and yeah this is basically the board that you want to do if you do not have the hard draw duality all right let's check out the deck list guys and these are the cards guys these is the insane deck list um like i said this this deck right here is heavily relying on going first okay it's more fun deck than competitive in my opinion because usually like in competitive i don't like to play ftks i mean competitive because in the ftks you always have to play cards like duality for example that are only good for going first usually i mean there are some plays that you can use that's for going second but usually not, not really especially if you see two of those on your hand you're gonna start shitting bricks so yeah so we got three times maxi one shanga one hammer time three times water one chinook two assault synchrons three ashes one zephyros three shamans three dudries three simoons one Magnamood, one Zarnir, one Druid Swarm, one Lobelion, one Prosperity, three times Small World. About the Small World Bridge, basically, if you have Max C on your hand, you can bridge Max C into Assault Synchron into any Black Monster that you want, besides Shamal and Vata, maybe, or like the Level 2s. But you're gonna get Simoon to your hand, thanks to Assault Synchron or any Bestial or Zudri. If you, however, have, um, let's say you got. One of the bestials on your hands, you can bridge into Assault Synchron into one of the Simoons. If you have one of the Black Wings on your hands, uh, you can bridge that into, like for example, let's say you got Hamaton in your hand, you can bridge Hamaton into Zarnia into Zudri, or into Shamal into Vata, whatever. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, not into Simon because they both have level 6 and being a dark type. Then I'm only playing two black whirlwinds and one black feather whirlwinds. It is enough, to, honestly. It is enough. Then two carbides to stop cards like Maxi or hand traps. And then we got three times duality. You can also cut that to two or one if you want to and play more hand traps to make it more competitive. But if you really want to do this combo, then you got to play three of those. For the extra deck, we have one Albion, one Nothung, one Boreal Storm, two, uh, two Blackwing Dragons, one Beelzeb for the combo, Jacob Berserker to break some boards, the Axel, Axel Synchro, Starless Dragon, Full Armor Master, Baron de Fleur, Three Times Assault Dragon, this pattern, and Chaos Angel. That's basically it, guys. If you want to read like every single card, you can stop it wherever I stopped. Stop the video, pause it, wherever, like. You, you guys are smart enough to find the cards i guess but yeah that's it guys if you want to have more deck lists like i said i'm posting daily stuff on patreon check that out man it is worth it and yeah don't forget about sleeve chief for premium sleeves play mats deck boxes border sleeves 10 and 5 that's all i want to say goodbye